Let's name some simple carbon compounds and get some practice for that. Let's begin by reviewing what the rules are. Well, the IUPAC name has three parts to it. The prefix is the substitution group. In most simple carbon compounds, the substitution group substituents are the halogens. For chlorine, we will use the word chloro. For bromine, bromo. It could be iodo, fluoro. So that's how you begin. Then comes the root word, the main word. The root word depends on the number of carbon atoms. If you have one carbon, then the root word will become meth. Then two is eth, three is prop, and so on and so forth. Usually we'll not get more than six or seven. So that's even because we're dealing with simple carbon compounds. And then finally it ends with a suffix and suffix is the functional group. So for example, if you have an alcohol attached, it ends with all. If an aldehyde is attached, it ends with al, own, oic acid. If you have none of these, then you can look at the bonds as the suffix, so for, uh, as the functional group. If you have a triple bond, it's an alkyne, so you end with ein, double bond in. And if you have none of them, there is no functional group attached at all, then you just consider ein. You just say that there's a single bond, you end with ein. With that, let's see if you can name these three. All right, so let's start with this one. Uh, what is the prefix for this one? We see that there is no substitution group, substituent group. So there is no prefix. So we'll directly start with the root word then. For the root word, I count how many number of atoms are there, uh, carbon atoms are there. You have one, let's write that. You have one, two, three, four, five. Since there are five carbon atoms, I know my root word is pent. And now for the suffix to end, I will check for the functional group. We can see we don't have any attached functional group, so we, but we do have a triple bond that itself becomes a functional group. So the triple bond ends with ein, and so we'll call this pent ein. And there you go. That is the nomenclature of this compound. Why don't you pause and try filling these two up? All right, again, let's start with the prefix. Do we have a prefix? Yes, we do have a substituent group over here, bromo. So we will start with bromo. Then we go for the root word. For the root word, we count the number of atoms. One, carbon atoms. One, two, three. Three is prop. So bromo, prop. And then we look at the functional group. We don't have any attached functional group. We don't even have a double or triple bond, which means we say that, oh, okay, we are going to use the single bond. And the single bond ends with in. So our suffix is going to be in. And so there we have it. Bromopropane is the nomenclature of this compound. What about this one? Again, we'll start with the prefix. Is there any substituent group? No, you can see none of that is attached. This is the functional group. So there is no substitution group. There is no prefix. So we'll directly start with the root word. For root word, we'll count. There are two carbon atoms. So for two carbon atoms, the root now becomes eth. So we'll write it as eth. And then we have a functional group. So the suffix ends with all, alcohol, all. So we might think it's gonna be ethol, but ethol sounds weird. So we actually call it ethanol. So ethanol. So this is how you end it. So for example, if, if there was CHO, it would have been ethanol, ethanone, ethanoic acid, ethen, ethene, ethine. With practice, you'll be able to write this much more confidently.